Dear beloved, we are gathered here to bid farewell to what has been a great year. Let's get into it. 2023, the year that was. With that, the 2023 season comes to an end. Good night. So, in true bold fashion, I mean, I got to speak true to myself. I made a little PowerPoint presentation and it'll be on your screen right now. And this is my 2023 wrap. Like you get this Spotify wrap, this is my 2023 wrap. We are going down memory lane and looking back on all the highs, the lows, the achievements, the setbacks, and reflecting on all of that and how we can improve on all of that in 2024. So let's get into it. Starting off with our expectations going into 2023. So my expectations going into 2023 were wild. I expected 2023 to be better than 2022. 2023 was a mess for me personally. And yeah, I guess 2023 did live up to that. It was way better than 2022, I must admit. I wanted 2023 to challenge me, and it did, it did just that. 2023 did put me out of my comfort zone in some areas of my life, and it did challenge me to be better. I wanted to discover myself in 2023. I wanted to turn 26 and have it all figured out. That did not happen, obviously, but it's good closer to myself I guess in a way and I learned a few lessons and I learned a few things about myself I wanted to achieve my goals in 2023 because I hadn't achieved any goals in 2024 so going to 2023 I wanted to achieve all if it's not some of my goals and I think I did that pretty much for the most part of 2023 Looking at my goals for 2023, these are my top six personal content financial. Like these are my top six goals that I wanted to share with you guys. I have more goals that I didn't share because I thought those are more personal, so I didn't share those. But these are my top six goals for 2023. I wanted to get my license. Like it was time. I really wasn't the one to try but we were interested and when push came to shove i had to do it so 2023 had to be the year i got my license i wanted to get at least 100 subscribers on youtube i had started this channel last year um the 2nd of november 2022 so i wanted 2nd of november 2023 to be at least i wanted to have 100 subscribers on my youtube i wanted to pass my first year with distinctions going into my first year of my Bachelor of Education, I wanted to do well, you know. Um, going back to school was a decision I made in 2023 and really pushed me out of my comfort zone because it meant I had to go to like full-time school. And given, you know, expectations, given the prospects of the world we live in, I was not really fully prepared to go back to school full time but i'm glad i did go back because it was a great decision that i made and i of myself for it i wanted to start working out regularly in 2023 i wanted to make friends in 2023 you know people not just acquaintances not just people i knew but people i can rely on and people can rely on me you know friends and i wanted to spend intentional time in the word of god and in growing my spiritual life my spirits actually and i wanted to be intentional about doing that because in 2022 i was very nonchalant in the air like that haphazard but i wanted 2023 to be the year where i was very grounded very solid and knew where i stood in the word and i wanted to grow in it looking back over my goal i have achieved some somewhat achieved others and i haven't achieved others at all so i did get my license yay got my license for 20 
I got my lessons in 2023 in March, so I'm really proud of myself I did it. I got a hundred subscribers and then some in 2023, so I'm really proud of myself because I grew right guys in a workshop. You guys supported me, <laughs> you shared the channel link with your friends, you commented and I can't say I achieved all of this by myself because obviously if you guys didn't watch. I wouldn't be here, so thank you guys. I passed my first year with distinctions. I'm really proud of myself because that was a goal I set for myself to pass my first year with distinctions and we did that. <laughs> I kind of got into like a little rut with this next one. I didn't start working out regularly. I started working out regularly from like January to March and then I fell off somewhere in April and then I never went back so didn't get that one I'm somewhat my friends somewhat because I wouldn't say I was very intentional about doing that I didn't put myself out there that much I didn't open myself up that much to connect with people so it's a somewhat achieved and I also somewhat achieved spending intentional time in the world because I started off right, you know, studying the word, I was in it, and then I fell off as per as per me, as per usual. And those are my goals for 2023. Looking back at the lessons that I learned in 2023, I learned a lot in 2023. The first being to trust, not just trusting God, but trusting people. <laughs> it's a big one for me that I learned in 2023. The next thing I learned in 2023 is I learned to live. Now, I learned to live. It's pretty vague because I've, I'm alive and I am living. But <laughs> I learned to live in the moment is what I mean. I learned to let go of, you know, the reins and to stop being so rigid about life and to enjoy the moment in the moment you know? oh i also learned to cry in 2023 i learned that crying isn't a bad thing and it doesn't mean you're overly emotional some of the magical moments that happened in 2023 the first being i i did it i reached my goal for 100 subscribers and i'm really really proud of myself for that i got my license that was a high i turned 26 like who can say that with a smile on their face and I'm, I'm really proud of myself that I'm 26 years old and I'm I still look young and fresh and <laughs> thank you God I spend time with my family now this one was a big one for me intentional time with my family not just being there but being present um I went to camp for the first time yeah I can't say it disappointed and the next thing is I explored my city as a tourist. I feel like I've been living in the city so long. I haven't actually, haven't actually ventured out and explored the city. So I set that goal for myself and I did it this year. And I'm so proud of myself. Looking at the lows for 2023. Well... I got my license but I didn't drive as much so that was a low because I I don't know I let fear take over and yeah let's just leave it there <laughs> I was not living in the moment I think a goal of mine was to be more intentional with being in the moment enjoying the moment and I was too much in my head in the moment I was so worried about everything and anything um, there was a lot of sickness in my family this year oh, a lot we had two deaths in my family this year um i didn't put myself out there enough i feel like i had so many restrictions i had so many restrictions on myself and i didn't allow myself to really be out there and another thing is i was too hard on myself i was very hard on myself i had such high expectations of myself and when i didn't achieve some of the things that i set out to achieve at a certain time i really went hard on myself so that was a very not so nice moment yeah 
looking at my hope for 2024 my first expectation is i will be kinder to myself like i said earlier i was very hard on myself in 2023 i wanted to be kinder and more gracious and merciful toward myself in 2024 i want to add value to your lives with my content and i want my content to be on a standard of excellence i feel like it's time to up the level third expectation is i want to let go of the reins i really don't want to be in charge i really don't want to have it all figured out by 27 um maybe i will maybe i won't and i want to have grace to pivot if there is a need to pivot and the allowance to actually move with the holy spirit and as he leads my fourth expectation is i want to open myself up to others <laughs> now i'm really close to i really don't let my god down too easily and people tend to think i'm very shy <laughs> but i'm not i'm actually the opposite and yeah i want people to see that side of me in 2024 i'll push myself out of my comfort zone that and my last expectation is I want to start to challenge myself more, whether it's going into 2024, thinking about starting something new, like a new hobby or developing a new skill. I really want to push myself more. I really want to travel more in 2024 if possible. And yeah, those are my hopes and expectations for 2024. I hope you guys will have a great 2024 and you guys are ready for all the fun new content that's coming i hope you had a great holiday season and you rested and you enjoyed time with your family don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell your friends about the channel so they can tell their friends about the channel you know let's plug each other and i'll see you guys in 2024 ciao